For this video, I would like to show a quick demonstration on how to use CCSAIA to collect and visualize core trace data using the Micro Trace Buffer, or MTB, available on the MSPM0G device. The MTB provides a single execution trace capability, recording any PC discontinuities. The MTB uses SRAM to store this data. The amount of data that can be stored is quite small, limited to four discontinuities. However, this can be enough to troubleshoot issues such as program crashes. This is a really simple example that just reads some memory addresses and then drops into a forever while loop. I'll set a breakpoint here so that the program will halt when the while loop is reached. Now when I run the target, hmm, the target just runs forever seems to never reach the breakpoint. When I halt the target, seems like I hit some exception and I'm stuck in this exception handler. I'm not sure how I got here. Mm, the call stack doesn't really help me much. I'm going to restart the program. And I'm going to also set a breakpoint at the start of the exception handler. And finally, I'm also going to enable core trace. The core trace tab is opened in the panel below, and core trace is now enabled. Now, when I run again, I hit the breakpoint in the handler, and I also see some data in the trace tab. Now, in the discontinuity column, some entries have this arrow icon. These represent the actual discontinuities that was recorded in the trace buffer. All the other entries in between these discontinuities were decoded and filled in by the trace tool. Now, when I select an entry, the disassembly view will jump to the address for the entry. Now, when I go to the bottom, I can see that the entry right before the exception handler is this read address function at line 67 in empty.c. Hmm, okay, here's the read address function. And it looks like this function gets called twice. Now, looking at the address right before the last discontinuity, I can see that it is line 56 in empty.c. So it is this call to the function right here. Now, what address am I passing into this call? Oh, OK. So it's an invalid address, 30 million hex. So I'm trying to read an invalid address. And in line 67, when the program tries to read this invalid memory location, yeah, OK, here it is. Yeah, let me confirm this. Let me start. Set a breakpoint, line 56. And I'm going to run the target to this breakpoint. If I step into this call and step to line 67, OK. I can see that it's going to try to read 30 million hex here, and boom. I'm in the exception handler here. Now, using core trace, I was able to see what was causing my application to hit an exception. As you can see, it can be an invaluable tool to detect complex intermittent bugs.